So Rudy has been saying some pretty crazy stuff in the Well Meta Zoo Survive video. And uh, yeah, obviously he still is promoting the hell out of Meta Zoo, but before we forget, he wanted you, the Timmy, to pay him $8,200 for five Meta Zoo Nightfall kits. Free shipping, of course. And it would include basically pictures of himself, right? You got a play mat, you got a promo card of himself. What is this game, guys? What, what the hell happens is this game? Except one man just being, like, promoted, and that's it. One man selling images of himself to other men online. Love it. You gotta love it. So, let's read some comments. I don't think anyone ever really bought a bunch of Meta Zoo to try to become wealthy and rich. Like Kickstarter boxes, graded samples, red ink, old scratch, blue ink. We think people were dropping thousands on these as game pieces? Question mark. Now, MetaZoo isn't even a real game. Remember, they were supposed to have, like, a Caster Cup this year, and they canceled that. And to my knowledge, the Caster Cups in 2023, September, were never paid in 2023, even though that was the first thing for MetaZoo to do. And as Nick and Strength said, I don't know why. I mean, that would... Now, every, I mean, it's bad, man. It's $20,000 cash and the $30,000 free product, right? So, like, you can't pay them. It's weird, right? And why announce that you're going to pay them when you clearly did not intend to? But anyway, depends how small a TCG can be and still be viable to run. MetaZoo is a bigger pump and dump scheme than my dating strategy. Mike caused his own great idea to crash and burn. He ran people away by treating his own partners, fans, artists horribly. It's actually the impact his actions had and how so much could have been prevented if he hopped off of Discord. Sometimes it's better to destroy your product rather than fire sell it and crash the market. Rudy Chan. History has pretty much data of the past. Rudy, Alpha Investment, Philosopher, Deep Thinker, Cardboard Financer, LMFAO. I never made any videos talking about investing in Meta Zoo. Classic Meta Innocent Rudy. So, like, why would you offer $8,200? Like, $8,200, guys, is a Meta effing car. It's a brand new Kia, I think. Well, it's like half a Kia, at least. Like, it's life-changing amounts of money for a lot of people. So, what is $8,200 to the average American? It is an investment. And they invested in five boxes of Nightfall. <laughs> yeah. If boxes go up, Rudy told you to buy and gets credit. If boxes go down, they were just having, just for having fun. Rudy never told you to buy. Be mad at anyone but the guy that loaded you up Laugh out loud. Yeah, so, like, isn't he the one selling these boxes for, like, $8,200? Like, if anyone benefited for the idea that this was an investment opportunity, it would be the guy selling you said investment opportunity. Damn, Rudy coming with the kill. I think MetaZoo has a rough road ahead. They need to hit every single box to make a comeback, and they got... A bad start with the players not getting paid yet so we will see hoping for a phoenix rise but i'm still collecting and playing the game meta poo still hasn't paid the players from the last tower like they promised they burnt too many bridges yeah why would anyone play a game where even if you won the game you don't get any prize <laughs> Like, guys, do you understand, like, how crazy it would be? You know, what What if Autumn Bruccelli won the Mythic Championship and no one paid her? Motherfucker, like, every, every Magic player would be canceled right now. Every male Magic player would, like, just be, like, Fano snapped out of existence, right, today. Right? If we did, we somehow, as a player base, couldn't come up with the money to pay Autumn Bruccelli, right? Like, I, are you, are you kidding me? Like, this is why I... I the Meta Zoo people are so delusional. They think that there's an anime and they're going to get a video game. 
they cannot even pay the mother efforts twenty thousand dollars. How do you know how much a video game, um, Pokemon's level is gonna cost, or an anime, or you know, I, I saw their manga. Their manga, dude, it doesn't look good, man. None of this stuff looks good. I mean, sure. So they don't they don't have the ability to pay a tournament winner. Their their only chance, cast a cup champion, by the way. 20,000 cash and 30,000 right but they got enough money to do an anime Yu-Gi-Oh style they got enough money to beat Pokemon right like it just it's, it's astoundingly how stupid the meta zoo people are who believe this they don't got $20,000 guys otherwise they're like Nick and Strang said there's no reason they wouldn't have paid out because now all the comments are about them not paying out and promising to have paid out Rattle will probably start another Kickstarter to raise the money to pay the winners. That's a good one. I laugh too hard, <coughs> hard at this. Yeah, that's kind of hilarious. I don't believe in the longevity of any TCG where they need to use YouTubers to offer a Rudy promo to entice people to buy the product. What is hilarious is that the promos weren't of a passionate fan or a good player. It was a guy that sells boxes as investments laugh out loud that's who they chose to be the face of the game laugh out loud not going to lie i thought it was a joke this entire time i never actually seen the card till this video i feel like the collapse of meta zoo was fully expected by most to me it was a 2020 21 hype product no real fans just investors even MetaZoo fans were going sour on it as early as a year ago. It It's only Rudy and that Algos bloke who ignored the signs. I love to see an alternative reality where MetaZoo is still a thing, but they never partnered with Rudy. I'm fairly sure he'll say it's a load of junk. Oh, most kind of like the grading company he bought, right? Oh, yeah, just like the grading company. Um... Yeah, this, this is pretty bad. I bought MetaZoo because it was fun to mess around with at its peak. Now I'll keep the foils, but make good bookmarks and fire starters out the rest It is what it is. Rudy acting like he didn't actively pump MetaZoo. Smiley face. MetaZoo is fun. Woo. It won't survive on Rudy's channel if his back pocket isn't getting padded. Isn't Rudy like the biggest independent? What was he? What does he say? The largest unimproved, unsponsored, huh? Uncontrolled, unsponsored. But the man's got more promos of himself in this game than Richard Garfield got from Magic the Gathering in his entire life. Richard Garfield. For a game that's 30 plus years. This guy, this dude's got more promos in MetaZoo 2 two year, three year game. Yikes, man. There is no one to sell the duplicates to. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny, man. It's so mother having funny, man. Like, I tell you, liquidity is zero, man. It is zero. I don't think anyone ever bought a bunch of Meta Zoo to try to become wealthy and rich. That is a load of BS. You hype people to pay you $500 for Nightfall. You don't spend 500 on a box to crack it. Yeah, especially when the MSRP on the box, what, what is it, like 100 He's trying to deflect responsibility. I was shocked to hear him lie that blankly, either a lie or freaking delusional. Those crowns are going to zero if MetaZoo goes out of print. I think Rudy is smart and will slowly release them, these into the market to capitalize on free tendies. I feel nothing for the investors that bought into MetaZoo. Most likely a game they themselves don't even play competitively. Feel bad for the players that won the tower event, however, and didn't get paid their prize. Umu will do uh, make 10 videos on this one video. Yeah, I will. One video of Rudy. Rudy says he doesn't remember making videos telling people to invest in MetaZoo. He also says he doesn't think anyone was trying to make it rich with MetaZoo. If we analyze Rudy's statements in the most charitable way, his patrons technically tried to make it rich with a diversified portfolio of Magic, Fab, and MetaZoo. 
Alpha Investment absolutely sells Magic Fab and MetaZoo as an investment. He literally says he isn't selling Disney Locana because it is uninvestable. Even if it's not an investment, he still did market talks while conveniently skating over and ignoring the negative market trends, like saying Native was holding $100 a box, but not mentioning that it barely sells. He only mentioned the poor sell-through rate after the relationship had gone sour. Also waiting a year to mention the collapse of Nightfall. I'm, I'll always be grateful to Rudy. His videos give me the motivation to turn my life around. That being said, he tarnished his reputation and all of this MetaZoo nonsense. Not that he cares. I imagine MetaZoo has made him a lot of money.